of William Hill, the home of betting. You really are excited by this, Willie, aren't you? I am. You know, you're, uh, I've been fortunate to have some very good uh, um, animals to train. Um, Colts and fillies, but mainly fillies. And, um, you know, when one comes along that, that um, you, your heart misses a beat when you're watching it, that's the one that uh, your money's on. When did you really realise you'd got something special? Was it Queen Mary? Was it the day in Ireland? I mean, or have you always thought she was going to be special? Well, we, uh, you know, uh, Sheikh Rashid's a new owner for me this year, uh, or last year, rather. And um, I said I thought we had a filly good enough to go to ask it for him. So we, we, um, we trained her for that. She ran at Newmarket, at Little Green, got slowly away. Then we took her to Ascot and she broke her maiden. Then she went to Sunday and took on the Colts. And when she took on the Colts and beat the Colts, he said it, uh, it was wise to take the Colts on. And I said, well, if she's going to win the Queen Mary, she wants to beat the Colts. And she did. So I was very confident going to Ascot. But Ritzina coming to join Sweet Emma Rose. What a day for James Doyle. Three on the bounce. Ritzina won the Queen Mary. Sweet Emma Rose, one chance. And then to Ireland, of course, and uh, brought the house down. Yes, no, uh, the, the Irish race was a great race. And uh, again, if I had my time again, I probably wouldn't have run in the uh, in the ch uh, Cherry Inton. I'd have left that one. Um, but because she'd won a Group 1 and then um, we didn't think that um, she'd gone back, we thought she was still there. Um, so she finished up with uh, uh, eight races, including a uh, trip to Ireland and a trip to France. And it came out of it uh, probably not razor sharp as she was early in the season, but then she'd been trained from March, March onwards to get to us. They're racing up towards the finish. It's Rosina now and James Doyle who are coming through to win the Moigler for Clive Britton. From your point of view, Clive, I mean, how can you compare her with the likes of Pebbles, who of course did win the race? Yeah, well, it's it's difficult, but she's um, certainly um, Pebbles was uh, an experience and very difficult to train. Pebbles swam more miles than she she galloped by a long way. This for these a lot more straightforward. Uh, has a turn of foot, uh, has a very good stride pattern and um, basically everything that went with the racers. And how hot a goodness do you see it being? Well, I, I entered in the two because uh, I couldn't see that much. The, the, the coats last year, I couldn't um, uh, see anything outstanding. <laughs> and um, so I thought it was worth putting in the two and then if one became very hot, you could go for the other, but basically, uh, if the coats are weak, I could switch. But she's been trained for uh, the, uh, the fourth. If she ran on the third, it wouldn't bother me one bit.